Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and as per usual, we're going to start the show the way we start every show, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Norrell Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down, check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Norrell Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Norrell Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Norrell Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. And we are back. As you can tell, we are not on the set of the Max City Morning Show. We are at Father Merck High School filming today for Santa's Anonymous. As you guys know, I do not introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So, sir, can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? I am Gold Galante, I am in grade 11, and I am as an assistant head leader for Santa Synonymous. Okay, how long have you been at Father Merck for? I have been at Father Merck for, since I was in grade 7, so okay. I believe that was around 2018. Okay, yeah. nice. And how long have you been involved with uh, Santa Synonymous? Since I came here in grade 7. Really? Yeah. Okay, what was your first role when you got started? My first role for Santa Synonymous was actually working at the breakfast, pancake breakfast. Oh, okay. Yeah, where we would show up here early around 6 a.m. and serve people breakfast, pancakes, yeah. hot chocolate, right. stuff like that. Now, were you a server? Were you cleaning up? Or were you like a line cook? I was both a server and I was cleaning up. So okay. I would take people's tickets. We gave them tickets and they would just redeem it for a pancake. Right. And then I would serve them their food. And afterwards, mm. once everyone was done, I would clean up the tables. Okay, nice. Yeah. And so, in your new role, what's your role and responsibility all about? In my new role right now, I'm an assistant head leader, so that's just showing up for all the events, making sure everything's going all right, and mm -hmm. helping new Santa Anonymous volunteers to <clears> make sure <throat> that they get things settled and right. done. There's a lot of events. Yes, they are. And you got to come to all of them? Not all of them, but you are expected to show up to most of them. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot, man. Yeah, you got a lot on your plate. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go to the one that just happened uh, this the weekend? Haunted the Haunted House. House? Yeah, I yeah. actually went to all the dates except Sunday. Okay. And it was running from, I believe, 5 to 9. Yeah. yeah. What uh, what role did you play? Were you one of the actors? You... Yeah, I was actually one of the scariest. You for were? The Haunted House. What were you? Yeah. Um, I was in the zombie room and I was I had a mask on. It was like very hot. Yeah. Yeah, but I would just like jump from behind a tree and then scare all the guests coming in. Yeah. Did yeah. It, like do you feel you did a good job at scaring people? Oh yeah, there were. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely heard a lot of screams That's and there awesome. were some kids crying. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> some kids crying. That's hilarious. My whole thing with being a scare is I'd be nervous that somebody would like try to hit you. Like get oh, so yeah. scared that they'd come and like pull one on you, yeah, you know? That did happen for some of the other scarers. And, yeah. But we do have a rule where we don't touch any of the guests. So, That's right. Yeah. But what if the guests hit you by mistake? Well, then you just got to, like, deal with it, yeah. calm yourself down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so outside of the haunted house, what is uh, one of the events that you're most uh, looking forward to? I am actually looking forward uh, to the... Christmas market. Yeah, we got that one. Okay, why the yeah. Christmas market for you? I don't know. I've just been doing it since grade seven. I like helping the people and I like seeing all the local businesses yeah, that I would yeah, never yeah. discover unless I went to the Christmas market. Yeah, that's yeah. fair enough. That's fair enough. So in grade 11, going to Father Merck, I got asked the question, why did you pick Father Merck out of all the different high schools that you could have potentially went to? Well, at the time, um, I have an older brother, and he already went to Merck, so mm -hmm. it was just reasonable for me to follow suit. Right. But after going to Merck for like <laughs> four years, I've actually come to like it. It's a nice place, yeah. great teachers, and mm -hmm. it has a lot of opportunities for students to yeah. learn new stuff. Yeah. Outside of Santa's Anonymous, are you involved in any extracurriculars? I actually do a lot of volunteering outside of work, so I've done Snow Angels, and I've volunteered at the food bank. Okay. And I go to Macau every now and then to play badminton with my cousins. Okay. Yeah. 
Snow Angels, tell me a little bit about that. So Snow Angels is a volunteering program that includes the whole community to volunteer to uh, shovel or the seniors' pavements during oh, winter. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. How many driveways are you shoveling a year? Well, it usually depends because you sign up for shifts, but it could be as much as you want or as little as you want. You can do individual <clears throat> uh, shifts or you could do it with groups, which would be a lot faster. So yeah. you would just yeah. show up to uh, the address you were given and they would provide all the equipment and you would just start shoveling the pavements. Okay. How yeah. many driveways do you think you shoveled last year? I shoveled about like six or seven. I didn't get to shovel as much as I wanted because I was had I was working at the time. Okay. Where'd you work? I was working at McDonald's. Which one? Um, Not all McDonald's are created equally as me and Tanner <laughs> have had lots of discussions about. I was yeah. working at the one in Gregoire. Oh, the best one. Hands down the best in my opinion, my humble opinion. <laughs> I think that's the best McDonald's in Fort McMurray. Yeah. But it's out of the way. I know. So, A lot of our customers were actually just trade workers on their way to site. So. Right. Yeah. What did you do at McDonald's? So I was a server and a cashier. So I would take okay. people's order and yeah. I would also take their payment. Yeah. What's your, everybody has one, what's your McDonald's order? My McDonald's order would probably just be a quarter pounder meal, large fries, fruit, strawberry for turkey to drink, and extra mustard and pickles on the burger. Nice. <laughs> that is a good order. So I have to assume though, you don't live up in Gregoire. You probably no, live close I to live work. downtown. Uh, near oh, the okay. hospital. Okay, yeah. okay, so, kids. yeah, <laughs> downtown kids, there yeah. you go, Tanner. Oh, I have so many questions about McDonald's, because yeah. um, never, we've never had a guest who worked at McDonald's, I don't think, and I love McDonald's. Yeah. It's my, my favorite fast food joint, period. So, what do you think is the order that gets ordered the most at McDonald's? The order that gets ordered the most would be the Big Mac. The Big Mac? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a, a lot of people just tend to like it, and they also love adding all the. the they also like the Big Mac sauce. They would even order it on the side as yeah, extra. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I order a double cheeseburger made like a Mac. Like, yeah. it's so good. It's yeah, it's so good. Listen, I we got to cut these short because I know you're going to yeah. class. <laughs> I have so many questions about McDonald's. Well, one of these days, you're gonna have to come by the studio. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna interview you for 20 minutes about your McDonald's experience. Yeah, I have a lot of stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Well, listen, before I cut you loose, my man, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. Yep. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. Okay. Um. Wait. What do I plug? Anything you want. Anything I want. Yeah. So okay. Um. I would like to plug Santa Anonymous. We've been doing this for a long time. It's a great charity for local communities and it's just a great thing overall so there we go awesome yeah. well thank you my man i thank appreciate you. your time today all right everybody at home big shout out to me from you thank you very much for tuning in i uh, gotta give a big thanks to toyota noral for being our title sponsor as well as carrie from patchouli rose you're about to check out her ad thank you everybody for tuning in it means the world to me i hope you're having a great day and we'll see you tomorrow peace hi it's carrie with patchouli rose Come and check out my new retail location at Corridor Shops and Events downtown on Manning Avenue and come check out all the other local vendors. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. It's so ballistic! <laughs> Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Yeah.